You know, I feel like this moment is dramatic enough that I uh, almost feel like I should stretch it out a bit more by just staring at the house for eight minutes before I start this episode. But nah, look at that guy. He's all smelly and full of flies. Uh, I'm hoping I get to see the gardens. I'm gonna get back to where I started. I guess I can go back out through the gardens, so there's that. Oh man, but like, I guess you'd have to come up through the sewers eventually at some point. Yeah, 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 look, I mean, I mean, I don't know what's in that house, but I can just about damn guarantee you it's not gonna be some, you know, typical, oh, it's a house and an undead quarter, lol, there's some busted up floors and a couple of zombies. No, there's something really, 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 really interesting is gonna go on in that house. And I don't know this, I'm not saying this because, like, I'm, like, winking at you because I had it spoiled. No, I don't know, but, like, just looking at it... That is clearly the centerpiece, and I'm going far away from it, because it's scary, don't you know? Well, I guess this could be my way back. So let's not, uh, let's not be too hasty, or let's be hasty. Uh, this could also be my way back. You know what, whatever. We're at the house. Let's just go into the house, and maybe we can denouement and sort of explore this place later on. God damn it. Eh? Eh? Oh, damn it. Okay. House, here I come. That, yeah. That <laughs> I mean, is it going to be like the cradle? Is this going to be like the Thief Gold version of the freaking cradle? I mean, it ain't a hospital, so clearly not at all. But it does definitely remind of the cure. Oh. Oh, a zombie guard. A zomb guard. It's not really a funny portmanteau, as I've said before. Just because a portmanteau is a toe doesn't mean that you can pluck it off and have it bleed all over the place while you munch on your tomatoes in true analogous cordiality. Okay. Yeah, sometimes some missions look more vanilla than others. This don't look vanilla. This, is, this almost looks like the Scarlet Cascabel kind of... <sighs> kind of deal. Well, oh, we can't just go in the front. Well, howdy doody, and what do you know? Ooh, 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 ooh. So maybe I do have, oh, wait, this is just exactly like, the okay, hang on, hang on. No, this is a lock pick. Never mind, not a key. But I've got a garden key with F3. I can scroll my keys. I've got readables with B. Freaking awesome. Thank you, VFig. Oh, wait, I can't, oh, never mind. This is the cradle, except, except, get this. The hatches on the left side is the oh, right. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Uh, look, I just—I I know it seems like I'm not going in because I'm not going in, but I just—I don't want to rush it. Okay. I really, really just want to take this all in. Okay, that guy actually circles or, or something, or maybe not. Oh. I don't know which way to go. There's so many entrances. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe I go into the basement. Let's not be indecisive. Because if you do, your movie script will never be produced, son. Yeah, this is amazing. Uh-oh. There is just no way this shit ain't gonna be incredible. Even though there's undead. I know. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh. Again, why is there this... voice when I can't actually hear it properly? I guess I went in the wrong way to be hearing this properly. Uh, a little more care in the positions you can take to hear stuff like, oh, there's a right way to hear the conversation. If you're at the wrong place, you just don't hear it at all. Okay, well, maybe, maybe it's not a conversation. Whatever. Someone's sort of alive in here, though. Strange. Something's weird. Something's weird with your mother, but you don't hear me complaining. I like weird. Okay, so up it is then. I guess. So I guess is I don't know if that voice is from from behind that door or just you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa! 
Somewhere else in the house, whoa. Okay, was it you? That's not a rotten form, that's rather cute. If you ask me, it's all shiny and full of light. I got a bad feeling about this. Like it's gonna, you know, poof some, eat something evil into existence. I mean, I'm just kind of waiting for it to do so. Like it's gonna resurrect a body or it's gonna resurrect a chair. Hey, it could happen. Sir Valentino Hector Hart Hartry. So I guess the picture rotted. See, I love this. This was probably a picture of a person and then the picture itself rotted into a skill. Interesting. I was told these portraits were painted when these people were alive. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I'm loving this. This is definitely Scarlet Cascabel inspired. This is like straight out of that. Oh my god, this is amazing. Okay. Now, you'll forgive me if I don't goof around as much because I'm just loving this. Yeah, I mean, the Bone Horde one was okay, but this is like a whole other level, man. You know? I kind of just... Ooh, okay. It's a spider. I hope the light doesn't resurrect the spider. That would be like, you know, there should be a zombie spider. There was a zombie Burrick. We need a zombie spider. Actually, I mean, that would be horrible, but, you know, it would be fun. Briefly. Depending if you're arachnophobic. Because I guess... Whoa. Dude, that's so creepy. Dude, this is so creepy and amazing. Like, I'm just waiting for a jump scare. I mean, they say this mission's supposed to be classy. Whoa. See, this is what I'm talking about. I just love this surreality of how the, the portraits, like, rot into death somehow. And also, it's like Roxburgh 3 with the portraits, I guess, but I don't know. If I need all of them, or steal the harp. Steal, oh, no, yeah, I know I need the portraits, of course. I pay attention, right? <laughs> all seven. At least it tells me how many there are. I've got a bad feeling about this. Uh, what was I saying? The portrait. Yeah, but. Without me, that precious harp is beyond your reach. Come to me. <laughs> well, you gotta show me your form if you want me to come to you. And voice. I'm pretty shallow, you know? I need visual aid. Okay, but seriously. Okay, but where are you? I can barely hear you, bruh. So, are you the Laurel XP? <laughs> no. I guess spooky ghost girls are overplayed. You could have spooky ghost... men? Uh, I guess that's fine. It's different, ain't it? <laughs> at least he's not... vomiting up his organs at me. Okay, Maximilian Baines, you know, because he has a million dollars, and possibly Baines, and possibly Bates as well. I'd love to have the last name Bates. <sighs> Fen Bates, I'd call it, and it would be the truth. Oh, this is so amazing looking, God! Like, ah, uh, there's no way they didn't look at Scarlet Cascabel for this, right? This is just incredible. Like, okay, so I'm going to be guided somewhere by a voice, except... Where is he? You need only allow me to guide you, and the harp will be yours. I don't trust you, bruh. What is that? Some good of Cthulhu bot? <laughs> you fool. Did you think I was a mere idol? Heed. And watch, pathetic creature. Your flesh shall putrefy, and your life shall wither away to serve their schemes. You 
can already feel it, can't you? How does it feel being branded a sacrifice? Heart. My brand comes at a great price for a mortal such as you, but it does have a few benefits. Use my gift well for the rest of your pitifully short life. <laughs> okay, but what is your gift exactly, Cthulhu bot? What's happening to you? Strange sigils on the wall and the harp is nowhere to be found. That thing said you were branded for somebody. Find out what you can. Okay, so I have the power to escape from a place that I... was just kind of getting into normally anyway, so... Oh, what a power indeed. 1500? Okay. Well, you know, you can keep me here forever if you just remove all the loot from the level so I can't get the loot go- Oh! Yeah! Um, so that I, I'm just forever stuck in purgatory. And, uh, and can't ever get out. You know how it is. <laughs> okay, you. Come on. Come on. Come on, show your face, show your battle axe. Okay. Yeah, you ain't so tough. You might have some new motions and a new shiny axe, but oh, okay, so I guess you are tough. Well, whatever. Uh huh. Nah. Nah, you ain't tough. Although now I've probably alerted the whole dang place. And let me tell you, this place is danged to heck. There is dang nation, or the nation, as you used to say in Victorian times, because saying damn nation would get you cursed by God and the damnful. Not to be confused with the devil. The devil is kind of harmless. He plays heavy metal and is awesome. But the damnful, that's the one you really got to watch out for. Okie doke. Um, literality. I just don't get it. And you think I would, because, you know, Spectrum Holobite. I bite the hall, and it's sort of like, sort of like biting a big long phallic thing, but a hall is like an empty negative space phallic thing instead of a positive space phallic thing, so I bite the negativity, digest it, and shit out positivity. So, uh, that's how you know you can trust me when I tell you about stress. Let's talk about expansion and compression, baby. Bill Nye is the best. Or at least he paid us. Oh, the incredible shit. I've got my trusty rope, so there's that. I feel like I don't really want to make this an hour-long video. I swear I don't try, it's just I get caught all up and before I know it, it's been an hour. What the hell is all this? What are those brains? They're brains! They're brains in acid. Maybe if I destroy them, the thinkingness of this house- Whoa! Will disappear, wait. I can't go through it, I can't pluck it, I can't chop it. I'm snipping it. Okay, well, I'll have to try to rem remember this wall. It does look important. I like those brains in a duck. Like, suddenly we went from very vanilla for the most part to, like, incredibly not, which I love because vanilla. Oh, wait, no. I do love vanilla. That is, if we're talking about ice cream. But we might actually be talking about nourishing meals versus ice cream, in which case, who cares about vanilla? You're eating quinoa. Okay. Now... Yeah, I've got a map. It's not an incorrect statement to say I've got a map. <laughs> you know. But it's tile everywhere, though. Ah, I have a... And here I'm just back here again. Well... Alrighty, wait a minute. Somehow I got way up at some point. 
or this place is just haunted and staying flat makes you go up. That could be the case. Hey, I love being flat. Being flat makes me go up. So if you want to smash me with a hammer, that would sure make me horny. All right. Uh -oh. Don't come over here. Whoa, look at the chunky movement. That's creepy. I wonder if that's creepy on purpose. Probably. Whoa! She threw an evil blade of grass at me. Okay. This is not good. She's probably going to circle around. No. Crap. Damn it. What have I got? Nine. Well, I guess fair is fair. I do also have weapons of zombie murder, so there's that. Three of those. But, you know, fire arrows not effective on ghosts at all. They don't have sexy midriffs, you see. Nay, not even the candle, ladies. Nay, not even the axe, gentlemen. Nay. Not even the horses. I don't know if midriffs are even a concept for horses. Crap. Okay, she's holding it like some kind of pitchfork. Probably by accident, but whoa. Alright. You just walk away. Marshmallow parental figure of the female persuasion. Just walk away. I'm gonna need a picture of your great grandmama here. Boring ass, long ass names. <laughs> Who cares about you? So, hopefully, she doesn't go on Twitch alert when I inevitably try to backstab her. That's just the kind of. That's just the kind of man I am. I backstab the candle ladies, but only if they're carrying a candle. Of course, if they're a candle lady who isn't carrying a candle, then I have to yell at her for being illogical with her name. What is all. Is this an actual Necronomicon? Ne Necropotence. Oh, well, I don't want to be necro-impotent. The Sworn Book of Alidzar, the Six-Eyed Channeler. The place of power shall be away from the world of man, far into the deepest deserts, buried in the blind lands, high in the tallest mountains, below the profound waters. And it shall be clean and free from the thoughts of worldly passions. Thus the place once chosen shall be purified, and so by burning offerings of corpse wax, lime water, and cloves, and pure mirror shall be brought, and purified sand, and the sand shall be burned in the brazier of calling, and the myrrh shall be scattered around the brazier as an offering to the four winds. And thou shalt be naked in thy right, as the priests of yore were naked in their rituals. Sexy. And thou shalt draw fresh blood from a sacrificial child with a blessed dagger embroidered in the most precious silk, and a circle shall be drawn sunwise on the ground with the fresh blood, in the midst whereof thou shalt stand while reciting the conjurations of Alidzar, taking care not to venture forth from the boundaries of the Mandala, lest thou be consumed by the unseen from Erebos, the lower heavens, the darkest plains. And a vessel full of the soul of man, be it honest in life or evil, shall be placed in the center of the circle, and the incantations to the Lord of Erebus shall be pronounced, and a portal to the dark sanctuary shall be opened. O channeler, O magus, ready thy mind, be open and sober in patience for the revelations, obedient as a child to his father. And that's not a thing. As fathers to the priest, as priests to gods, and gods to the Demiurgus, the Almighty. Cool. I can do a ritual now. Uh, probably gonna end the world or something, but whatever. It'll get me a blowjob, so cool. Philosophers of yore described the secrets of the soul in a way that was far more complex and sophisticated than the drivel contemporary erudites and the clergy like to regurgitate when they're not wasting their time on futile debates on whether asking this question is a sacrilegious act or not. While the Order of the Hammer speaks of Numa and of Sarx, and the pagans like to talk about primitive mythology with an often puerile credulity, the truth is this. Every mortal being, sentient and intelligent, is made of four sacred elements. Yeah, what we say is the truth. 
all the shit other people say on it is, is not the truth. They're stupid. We're the smart ones, of course. Firstly, there is the Boyadrell, the chest, the shell, the body, the cadaver. Then the Yorulth, the cogito, the feelings, the conscience, the realization of existence, life's Azoth. It is a difficult subject for non-initiates, but it is also the true name. Afterwards, there is the Kubithla, the opposite of the Yorlth, the shadows, the natural results stating that everything possessing a physical existence also has a shadow, the proof of mortality. This is a delicate subject to explain. Finally, there is the Ka, that which cannot be explained, for it has too many meanings. In truth, one could call it destiny. Oh, I thought that was a lever. No, it's just a, an axe into a chest. Someone didn't like the Ka. Ah. It troubles me that this measly fragment is the only known remains of the instructions that pious rat Abugtiar was ranting against. The original rituals must have been wondrous beyond comprehension. A more complete copy is needed before I can be sure of my translation. Control of the Sentience by Urmagus Abubtiar, a critical excerpt of the lost original work Abubtiar's Tablets, presented in its original Urmagic script. The realm of souls is like a door, visualized to enter the sentient's mind. One should have either the keys to open it, or the cunning to weaken the barrier and let it move aside for him. Establish control after entry, not before. Wise is the one who studies the sentient to balance inhibitors and keep the sentient weak with what is unknown to it until the ritual of taming is complete. If done correctly, I become a conduit for its power. Well, I hope this isn't important because you may notice they don't go into the inventory. Well, oh well. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Well, maybe the guys can't come through this door, and by the guys, I mean the dead. But they saw me through the door. Oh, come on, brah. I guess that's why the door's evil, because people can see you through it. That's the trick, you see? The divine unholy prank. And let me tell you, I know all about divine unholy pranks. Being somewhat of a divine unholy prankist myself. Lady, why have you got wood splinters around you? That's what? Okay, bleh, that was pretty awesome, but sadly... We can't stick around to see it. Uh-oh. Okay, she didn't hear for some reason. <laughs> I will take that with a spoon. Ooh. Ooh. Crap. We're in the evil kitchen now. <laughs> and there are the evil flies. And truly, they are putting on quite the performance today. And there are the evil pans. Okay. So, I don't actually know what I'm doing. Find out what I can. Okay, this is just the exploration time for five. So maybe... Okay, someone's saying is ancient Azus and more powerful than death. But I can't actually hear them and we're this... Okay, that guy's got a bag on his head. That's a little too comedic for this mission, son. I do not sure I approve not. Okay, well, whatever. Ooh, what is that? Like some sort of hospital meters? You know, the hospital meters. Ooh, crap. This is some sort of a hospital. Do I really have to bleep that out now? No way. Uh, Master Gromoval, we're rather satisfied with our little trade so far, but I think I have to remind you again that we're very picky concerning your merchandise. Do I need to remind you of the prices? 2,000 GP for a fresh corpse, 1,000 GP for a fresh but damaged corpse, 500 GP for a decomposed corpse. Please, don't try to bargain again and ask for another raise. I do believe we already give you more than enough. Another thing, there's no need to try your chance again with your puny embalming techniques. We are far from being dimwits and even further from being patient, you know who. Okay, that dummy's head is tilted and his face is creep -omatic. I feel like that's a new face specifically designed to be creepomatic. <laughs> uh, yes, I mean, I apologize for ruining the atmosphere with the light turning off at here, but, I mean, you know, needs must when you're trying to hide from the bag zombs. Can't take nothing, huh? Okay. Guess it's just flavor. It's the scary hospital of doom. Wait, why is this guy even bothering to talk when you can't hear him? The only way I know he's talking is these subtitles. Boy, how do you'd almost think? You'd almost think. 
But like, if I knock him down here... Tooth is coming loose, I'm starting to rot. I mean, that guy doesn't sound like such a bad guy necessarily. I mean, he's saying jaunty jolly things. You know, he's the jaunty jolly man. Say the jaunty jolly can. Wonder if hitting that gong would wake up the zombie. <laughs> the zom gong. I do wonder. Woke. Ugh, skin off the flesh, off the face, off the face. Skin off my face. Skin off my... Oh my god. Why... Why do you let me hear the talk when it's too quiet to hear the talk? Now I want to go around to see if I can hear it better. I mean... Also, there's... Whoa. There's this. What the hell? Why did he lean back? What is going on here? He's stitching up his friend and that guy's waiting for a head transplant? Okay, this hospital's not abandoned. It's in full functioning force. Okay, you got it. You got like a readable? Acolyte Orha. I am very concerned about something, but can't bring myself to tell either Adept Kekim or Azaran himself. Azaran? We are mortals and thus require sustenance, but our food and water supplies rot at an alarming rate. Water isn't really a problem since the canal provides all we need, but there are no living creatures anymore around the manor. Our hunting expeditions take us deeper and deeper into the sealed section, and our fresh food expenses are getting far too high. It is worth noting that our experiments cause nearby flora to wither and die, among others, and I fear the canal may propagate this blight as I've noticed dying bushes beyond the manor grounds while the wild and unruly vegetation elsewhere is untouched. It is also important to mention that every time we leave the manor to buy supplies, we risk being discovered. Something must be done about this. You know who? Do I, though? I don't think I do. While I'm away studying the aura emanating from the cathedral, pursue the recent progress made in keeping the undead both servile and violent, fitting flesh for a revenant army. Paramount above even this, however, is to keep ever vigilant of the statuette. No matter our capacity to use it, we are not in control of it. Expect more relays to be lured here unwittingly. Stay behind sealed doors until I return. The prying into the ghostly melody around the music room is to cease. It is a trick of the statuette. Where there's some magical harp on the grounds, we would have discovered it long ago as a rant. Necroma. This is so cool. You hear about the one necromancer, Azaran, but you never see them? Now we see them? Okay. Steal the harp and laid with it. Wait. So there isn't a harp? Well, how, well, how do you... How do you know you're just not better than... Like, in Broken Triad, they're like, we haven't found a gem. If there was one, we would have found it, and then you find it. So you're just gonna believe them? There's no harp? So and you're gonna steal the portraits. That's it? Okay. I feel like there's gonna be more to it than that. But, I don't know. Now that I've been lied to, I'm gonna leave it here and maybe tomorrow I can come back and make another try for it. <laughs> See you guys then. Bye for now.